Hello guys, in this video I will show you on how to open a connection between PHP and MySQL. So first, you need to create a database named dbcrad. And then inside of the dbcrad database, we'll be creating a table named tbl student. So let's go to our PHP script. So in this example, I'll be using Notepad++ as my editor. So, first, you need to open a PHP script. Then, let's save it. And under our htdocs folder, we'll be creating a folder named CRUD. Then, the name of our file is dbconnect. So, the extension is php. Then, the file name is db underscore connect dot php. So, in this example, we'll be using the pdo or the php data objects. So in order to connect to MariaDB or MySQL, we need its credentials. So first, we need to establish or we need to specify the server name. So we'll be defining a variable name, server name. So if the database is located from a different server, you need to specify the IP address. But in our example, since the database is located the database and the web server is located in the same computer so we'll be using the local host and then our username so the default username of my web server or the sum is root and the password equal to that's the default password that I created and then we'll be using the try catch statement and then we'll be opening the connection so we'll be defining a variable name con and then new pdo so we'll be using the php data objects and then open close parenthesis then we need to specify the parameters so the first parameter is the mysql then we need to specify the host server so if you use the pdo that means you can use multiple databases server name and then comma the name of our database is equal to db crud and then semicolon or comma and then the username comma and then your the password of your database server or the database management system which is the MariaDB and then after that we need to set the attribute so you can customize the attribute set attribute then open close parenthesis then pdo colon colon attribute 
error mode so error mode so you can set up the the error mode attribute so we'll be using the error mode exception so we have three error types of error mode so in this example we'll be using the error mode exception we have the error mode silent and we also have the error mode warning but in this example we'll be using this one to allow this statement so next is we need to specify the exception so since we are using pdo so the defining pdo except exception then dollar sign e so e represents the error then echo okay so so it will prompt an error once the once we have a problem connecting to our database connection failed then we to specify the error for us to trace what causing the problem get message of parentheses then if the connection is successful we'll just uh, specify echo connection or connected to database yeah. okay so in here this statement will be executed once we have a successful connection to our my MariaD, MariaDB but if we have encounter an error like for example our username is uh, we have a wrong username or password it will prompt a an error which is, which will be displayed here the get message under catch statement so we'll try to run this script on our browser so we'll be using the mozilla firefox and we'll be typing localhost then under the folder crud enter so we have the file here then let's try to click the db connect and then the message is connected to database or connection successful what if we have a problem with our connection let's try that let's try to change this password into another password okay so for example that is 2021 then we'll just run it f5 so you will be encountering an error which is access denied for user root at local loss. That means you have a wrong password or wrong credentials. So that's all. Thank you for watching. See you on our next videos. God bless.